Hello friends, it's craft time again with Super Crafts. Today, we're going to make three special crafts. And the first one is called Forgive Others Craft. For this craft, we will need some materials. These include a foil paper, pencil or pen, a pair of scissors, and glue. We also have our Super Truth and Super Verse for this craft. The Super Truth is, I will forgive others as Jesus has forgiven me. And our Super Verse for this craft is from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. Now that we've gathered our materials, let's get started. First, trace the shape of your feet on a piece of paper. Make sure to trace two for the left foot and two for the right foot. You'll end up with four foot shapes like this. Choose any color of paper that you like. Next, carefully cut out all the foot shapes you have drawn and put them aside. Take two pieces of paper and glue both papers together at their edges. Then, flip it over and write Forgive Others on the paper. After that, glue all the foot cutouts onto the paper. Lastly, write down the super truth, super verse, your age, and your name on the ground. And, if you'd like, you can also decorate it. Wow, that was so easy! And just like that, we've completed our Forgive Others craft. Now, let's move on to the next one. Alright, our next craft is called Joseph in the Well. Here are the materials we'll need for this craft. Colored paper or F4 paper, pencil, marker, a pair of scissors, coloring tools, glue or tape, plastic spoon, paper cup, and ice cream stick. Now, it's time for us to make it. First, take a piece of A4 paper or colored paper and cut it into the shape of Joseph's hair. Let's glue that piece of paper onto the tip of the plastic spoon. Using a marker, we can draw Joseph's eye and mouth on the spoon. Next, let's take another piece of paper and draw Joseph's robe. Cut out the shape you've drawn and you can color or decorate it as you like. Glue an ice cream stick on the plastic spoon and attach Joseph's robe on top of it. Now, let's cut a slit on the bottom of the paper cup so that the ice cream stick can go through it. Crumple a piece of paper and stuff it into the cup, creating a bottom for our well.
Lastly, let's put the plastic spoon through the slit on the bottom of the cup. Our Joseph in the World Craft is complete! Great work everyone! You did an amazing job creating your very own Joseph in the World Craft. Now, let's move on to the next craft. Are you ready for our last craft of the day? It's called I Can Trust God. To make this craft, we will need this material. A faux paper, marker pen, pair of scissors, glue or tape, coloring tools, and string. Now, it's time for us to make it. First, take a piece of A4 paper and fold it in half. On one side, use your marker pen to write I can trust God when I feel Cut the paper in half along the fold. Take another piece of A4 paper and draw six circles on it. Get creative and draw an emotion inside each circle. You can draw any emotion from happy, sad, angry, or anything else you can think of. Now, it's time to add some color. Use your coloring tools to color in the circles. Once you've finished coloring, cut out the circles. Take one of the pieces of paper that you've cut earlier and glue the ends together to make a hoop. Cut six pieces of string and attach them to the hoop. Then, attach the circles to the string. Finally, cut a length of string to use as a handle for your craft. Attach the ends to the hoop so that you can hang it anywhere you like. And just like that, we have our very own I Can Trust God craft. Great job everyone! Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome crafts. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out on future crafts. Also, if you felt led by the Holy Spirit to give towards our ministry, you can support us by giving through the information displayed on your screen right now. Until next time, stay crafty and God bless you all! Bye!